What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Slide 3D TV, back at you with another video. Y'all, so Miss Nella and Charles is still in these streets causing havoc, baby. And now they have fired their management team, and they are going at it on social media. So y'all know how we do over here. I'm going to bring y'all all the information, and y'all tell me what y'all think about all of this in the comments. Do you believe Charles, the manager, or do you believe Miss Nella and Charles? Y'all tell me what y'all think. Peace out. Bye. Y'all, come on up in this live. Charles, come on up in with this phone, baby. Guys, like, come comment, and phone, subscribe. Y'all, this manager on here, he's on live. He's just going all off on Miss Netta. And I tried to let this man down very, very easy. Hey, everybody. Y'all, come on on this live. Y'all go on this live. Y'all share this live. Because he talking some real big crazy crap. Because I didn't let him go. Wow, really? Yes, I'm in here with a bunk, bunny with my country bunker ass. He on the other phone, y'all. He talking a whole lot of stuff. Y'all come over here to the real page. Uh huh. Y'all come on up in this live. Y'all get up in here so I can talk about Mr. Carlos. Mr. Carlos, and I'm not doing it because he's on this live talking all this crazy stuff. I told this man that we can come to a conclusion where we can, uh, don't get off of it, we can come to a conclusion where we can end this result on a good way. He didn't want to come on my live and end this thing on a good way. He want to do it all the hard way. So he on here bashing me and Charles, talking about we country bunkins and all this and all that. But we weren't country bunkins when he was working for us, okay? First of all, let me tell y'all from the beginning, everybody wants to know why I chose this man to be my manager. Okay. Uh, what is the name of the live? I don't know what his live is. I don't know what his live is. He's Carlos. That's all I know. He's no longer my manager. I'm done with it. He's very upset. But anyway, let me get on here and let me ask some of y'all questions. And let me give y'all the reason why I chose this man to be my manager on this thing. Because other than that, me and Charles never be, had to be managed. We was making good money before we got on this thing with this man. You know, this man, after we blew all up, but me and Charles been doing social media for a long time. After this man seen that it was some type of recognition and money to get on the bandwagon, this man contacted me by another person. He contacted us by another person. And uh, my thing was last year when I was talking to y'all, I was going to get me a reality TV show going. And that's the only reason why he got a chance to become my manager, because he said he was going to provide a reality TV show for Miss Netta and Charles. And it was going to be through cultural TV. Y'all all remember that. I was going to do cultural TV, reality TV show of Miss Nell and Charles on our life of getting married and all that other stuff. So he was like, he came in and that's what he said he can help to do. Okay. So he came in, we started recording the show. We recorded the show. He said, okay, what I'm going to get y'all to do, we're going to do a meet and greet. So I said, okay, so, um. First of all, the meet and greet supposed to pay for itself because they was charging people at the door. If y'all, my, my lovely icons, y'all would have know that y'all had to purchase tickets to get in there to meet Miss Nelda and Charles. This was something Carlos had going on. I tried to just get this stuff all together with me and Carlos before all this stuff got out of hand. But Carlos on live and he just bashing me. And y'all know that I went on live the other day and I was taking, a fu taking up for Carlos. I didn't want to tell y'all the real deal. But anyway, let me go on ahead with it. So, he offered us this meet and greet that we go into all these cities and stuff. And he said that we're not going to be, uh, we're not going to be using none of our money, which is our social media money, to do this. The meet and greet was going to pay for itself. Okay, Carlos, no, when I came in with them in January 2024, I don't mean to put nobody in my business. He know it for a fact. I came in with, me and Charles came in with $22,000. We came in with $22,000. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we came in with $22,000. So by the end of the month, I went to Carlos. I said, Carlos. I said, you didn't tell me that one time that we was going to have to spend all this money like this. I said, I showed you my banking information when we came in with $22,000. I said, I got $8,000 in my savings account. I said, something ain't right. 
Carlos was like, well, what are you talking about, Miss Nelda? What do you spend the money on? What did we spend the money on? We provided the whole trip for everybody. And that's the thing to let y'all know that we ain't broke at all. We provided the whole trip for everybody. We provided hotel room for us and them. Yeah. We provided uh, food. We would sit up there paying for their food and stuff like that. They little children, but we the broke, you know, the, the broke dumb ones or whatever. Well, you could call us dumb. Four and five hundred dollar meals and stuff we buy at these fancy restaurants for all of us. We doing all of this. He said that we're not going to be, uh, we're not going to be using none of our money, which is our social media money, to do this. The meet and greet was going to pay for itself. Okay. Carlos, no, when I came in with them in January 2024, I don't mean to put nobody in my business. He know it for a fact. I came in with, me and Charles came in with 22 thousand dollars we came in with twenty two thousand dollars okay mm -hmm. so we came in with twenty two thousand dollars so by the end of the month i went to carlos i said carlos i said you didn't tell me that one time that we was gonna have to spend all this money like this i said i showed you my banking information when we came in with twenty two thousand dollars i said i got eight thousand dollars in my savings account i said something ain't right carlos was like well what are you talking about miss nether what do you spend the money on what did we spend the money on? We provided the whole trip for everybody. And that's the thing to let y'all know that we ain't broke at all. We provided the whole trip for everybody. We provided hotel room for us and them. Mm -hmm. We provided uh, food. We would sit up there paying for their food and stuff like that. They little children, but we the broke, you know, the, the broke dumb ones or whatever. Well, you could call us dumb. Four and five hundred dollar meals and stuff we buy at these fancy restaurants for all of us. We doing all of this. So, anyway, turn it down a little bit because it's kind of messing with my concentration and I can't tell everything I want to tell. So, anyway, um, so after we did all of that, going all these meet and greets, not to mention y'all, y'all know that y'all came to them meet and greets, y'all had to pay for tickets. The meet and greets supposed to fund itself. Carlos was taking money the whole time entire time so we thinking like okay so what's going on so we went to um i'm not gonna say the promo we went to but the people know that we talking about i'm not gonna call their names we went to this one particular promotion that we had to do and um so we was at the table at the dinner table and um Carlos was like, Miss Netta, y'all need to go to, to, to go to this club, this gay club. Not to mention, y'all y'all did hear him say that he knew all of these people for a long time, and he wanted to call himself a straight man. But all them clubs we went to was gay clubs. So he had us hooked up with all these gay clubs that he had association with that he so-called say that he's a straight man. But anyway, for us, now he on live talking about his, his wife didn't like us. We don't care about his wife not liking us. We ain't never met his, we ain't never really too much seen his wife because why? Been gone. Duh. Nah, he ain't been around. Right. We ain't been around. Right. He kept that, he, he kept her home. Yeah, he kept her home. And he, but he was, he was with us. He was with these other women. Baby. I got proof, I got receipts, and if they get even any deeper, I'm going to put them out there. Where he was texting women talking about he is married, he wanted a side piece, but he wanted to buy them some bags. Mm -hmm. The thing, that's what I keep saying, but that, I was not going to go there with Carlos, but Carlos on Facebook over here right now, his page, like degrading me and Charles, like, you know, me and Charles was new to this game. So it was easy to manipulate us because we didn't know nothing about this game. Mm -hmm. My Netta's tea, it didn't come out, y'all. Charles, uh, what was your thing, brother man? My bourbon. Yeah. Bourbon. His bourbon didn't come out, y'all, because Carlos stealing all the money. And that's how that's been for the whole seven months. Then he goes out, he had to babysit me. Boy, I'm old. I'm the same age as your mama. You ain't nobody to me. Like I said, I told him, you don't tell me what to do. I tell you what to do because this is my brand right here. These folks from the trailer park. These folks from the fucking trailer park. Okay? No, so y'all can sit around and listen to what these folks are saying. These folks ain't saying nothing. Okay? They didn't make no fucking money. Okay? They didn't make no fucking money. Okay? They didn't make no fucking money. What other questions y'all got? Was Joe detained? No, Joe was not detained. That is a lie. That is a lie. 
What questions do y'all want to know? What what questions do y'all have for me? Okay. What do y'all have for me? I don't have a reason to lie. Okay. These folks live for social media. Of course, they're going to sit around and make shit up. Okay. They're going to make shit up. All right. With that slow ass nigga who just sit by and do whatever the fuck he's told. That nigga might snap back every once in a while. He may get fed up. All right. He may. He's like a little, you know, I, I can't. I ain't going to say what I want, but they going to sit around. Okay. They so they went to to all right to the, about the houses. Let's talk about the houses since they want to talk about the houses. They went to look. So ask them. So if they got so much money, ask them why they not living in the house that they sold you that million dollar house. Why they not living in the million dollar house? The million dollar house was going to cost ten thousand dollars unfurnished per month in rent and thirteen thousand dollars per month furnished. Okay, right? they so they'll have it'll already come with the furniture for thirteen thousand dollars, thirteen five hundred matter of fact to be exact, or ten thousand dollars unfurnished every. Single 